Chiari Tunnel, known as Generic Routing Encapsulation, is a virtual private network technology that can connect two private networks by encapsulating private network packets in the public network. Let's see how to configure a GRE tunnel between two AVCOM AP222 cellular IoT gateways. First, let's connect all the devices including according to this topology shown on your screen. We are using two AP222 gateways in this example. Let's call them AP222A and AP222B. You can assign any private IP addresses to LAN ports of these gateways and their respective local network devices. However, the WAN IP addresses will be provided by your cellular connectivity provider. And finally assign the virtual IP addresses of the GRE tunnel. These IP addresses can be assigned arbitrarily. Now let's start the configuration by accessing the web GUI of AP222A. Go to your internet browser and browse the IP address of the gateway which in this case is 192.168.11.254. Enter the username and password to login. Go to the device home page, change network mode to router in the Ethernet port option, and click submit. After the submission is successful, click the security option, and then click GRE settings. In the pop-up interface, first select enable to enable the GRE tunnel feature. For AP222 a remote IP address, enter the WAN IP address of AP222B. Similarly for virtual remote IP address, enter the virtual remote IP address of the other gateway you assigned in the beginning. Insert the subnet mask accordingly. Tunnel route indicates the destination network ID, which in this case is 192.168.13.0. You can enter any character in the key as long as they are same on both ends or you can just leave it blank. After setting up, click Submit, and the GRE tunnel is successfully configured on this gateway. Similarly, now configure the other gateway with the respective IP addresses. Start the configuration by accessing the web GUI of AP222B. Go to your internet browser and browse the IP address of the gateway which in this case is 192.168.12.254. Enter the username and password to login. Go to the device home page, change network mode to router in the Ethernet port option, and click Submit. After the submission is successful, click the Security option, and then click GRE Settings. In the pop-up interface, first select Enable to enable the GRE tunnel feature. For AP222B remote IP address, enter the WAN IP address of AP222A. Similarly for virtual remote IP address, Enter the virtual remote IP address of the other gateway you assigned in the beginning. Insert the subnet mask accordingly. Tunnel route indicates the destination network ID, which in this case is 192.168.10.0. You can enter any character in the key as long as they are same on both ends, or you can just leave it blank. After setting up, click Submit, and now the GRE tunnel is successfully configured on both gateways. To confirm, Open the command terminal on computer A and computer B and ping each other. Here you can see that both Ethernet devices on the end of AP222A and AP222B can communicate via GRE tunnel we just configured. Thank you for watching for more tutorials. Please subscribe.